<laughs> Get naked. We're having a whole sermon on intimacy. Of course we can say that. <laughs> my name is Chad Merle, and this is my wife, Jana, and we've been married for 11 years. We constantly communicate. Uh, we're always talking, working through things. I think the other thing that brings success in our relationship is sarcasm and humor. <laughs> uh, we don't take anything too seriously. Uh, so we, our house is filled with a lot of laughter and, and joking and yeah, fun. For sure. I think also a lot of gentleness and kindness go a long way in a marriage. And people can forget to be gentle and kind with their spouse. And mm -hmm. I think that's very important. When we don't communicate, mm -hmm. uh, when there's a breakdown in the communication or a lack of communication, it always causes problems for us. I didn't tell her something uh, or she didn't tell me or we, uh, we let something fester for too long. Mm -hmm. uh, something was bothering us and rather than talking to one another about it, we didn't take care of it and it became something bigger than it ever should have been because we didn't communicate. Yeah, for sure, and I'm an over-communicator, so I really need to know everything the second he knows it. So when he waits a couple weeks to tell me something the night about. before, it <laughs> doesn't always go over so well. <laughs> I think for us, we handle the conflict by communication, um, but the key in that for us is uh, we never let our emotions take over the conversation. We've never yelled at each other. We've never let it get out of hand. And if we feel like it's escalating and it's starting to get out of hand, uh, we take a break and we walk away and come back when we've calmed down. Uh, we do a pretty good job of just resetting. You know, we'll have the conflict and we'll communicate and we'll get the conflict resolved. And then when we're done, we just kind of step right back into where we left off and we don't let it affect the future anymore. We, we forgive and we move on, so. Yeah, I think we do a good job of dealing with the situation at hand and not bringing mm -hmm. up past things or anything like that. We try to really communicate about our emotions and how we're feeling in the moment, and then we're done with it, mm -hmm. and we move on. Not to give up. You know, always have hope in God and His promises because He will always come through. The moment you give up, and you give up on your marriage, that's when you can't turn back. Even in the midst of conflict, we've always known that if we just stay true to God and we follow His Word and do what it says as far as being a husband and being a wife, that God's going to redeem that situation and not let us down. He's going to stay true to His promises. Yeah, I think I would want people to know that you need to be your spouse's safe place. They need to feel comfortable telling you things without you reacting in a way that will n cause them to not feel validated or cause them to feel hurt by your reaction. So that if something does come up, they don't have to worry about how you're going to react to it and that they will feel safe telling you things so that you can have open communication. Yeah, we've had some of the best moments in our marriage has been when we've had to confess to one another um, and had to be transparent and had to have a difficult conversation, mm -hmm. uh, but we've grown so much in those moments uh, and it's strengthened our marriage uh, rather than hurting it. <laughs>